Four days after the siege of Langerfen, the emperor assembled his generals once again. After the destruction of the Rod of the Kaliach, Moagim had retreated back into the Downs. All knew that once he could swell his army with fresh corpses, he would undoubtedly return. It was unanimously agreed that the Trau were the greatest threat they faced. Not only were the metal juggernauts all but unstoppable, but their ogre slaves were massive brutes as well. That was when Connacht revealed his plan. Speaking boldly, he stated that the only way to win the war was to eliminate the Trau. A great murmur rose from the assembled generals who thought that waging a war against the Trau was utter madness. No force in the world had ever stood up to the Trau and survived, even the great Ents and the godlike Kaliak. Still, Connacht relayed his plan. During the siege, Myrdred had discovered an incredible fact. The ogre were held in thrall to their Trau masters by the power of dream magic. It was a dream of subjugation that compelled the ogre to fearlessly obey their master's orders, not the threat of harm. The ogre were once a proud and savage race. If they were released from the power of this dream, the Trau would have a bloody rebellion in their midst. Myrdred claimed that he had within his power a dream of release. If this spell was woven upon an ogre slave, they would become free of the Trow's domination. Though it would take time, Connacht was sure that with an ogre rebellion, the Trow would have better things to do than to march with Moagan's army. And so, Connacht was granted a small force to march into the Trowlands and attempt to achieve his improbable plan. After a month of hard traveling, the small force from Lankerfen reached its destination. A few miles south of the Trau temples of Avernus, Connacht's troops made their way along the vast Gajol River. On the northern side of the river, a Trau iron temple stood as prodigious as a mountain. It was the first Trau settlement any of them had ever seen. It was as magnificent as it was ominous. Rusting towers of angular shapes stretched to the heavens. Solid iron statues depicting scenes of trial glories loomed over canyon-like streets. Scaffolding surrounded many structures making the temple complex look as if in a state of constant repair and grooming. Everything in the settlement was constructed solely of iron. Huge slabs of it, many feet thick, all of them carved and welded through centuries of labor by ogre slaves. Connacht ordered the troop to make camp along the river. They would wait until the deep of night to make their infiltration. Their plan was to catch the trowel by surprise. Myrdred and a small group of Heron Guard would stealth into the complex under cover of the night. There they would seek out a small group of ogre slaves and weave Myrdred's dream of release upon them. With luck, the ogres would throw off the mental shackles of the Trow influence and take revenge upon their masters. Welcome to Bonds of the Ogre. This is a uh, very special mission. This is one I've been looking forward to LPing for a long time. But I'll get into that later. What we're doing right now is we're going to be waging war with the Trow. To do that, we're going to be using our dream of release on the Ogre. Here's a nice little group right now. Now, if this group was going to attack me, I would be a little bit worried, but... Fortunately, we've got Myrdred and our dream of release. New units received. Boom. New we get a bunch received. of ogre on our side. Now I kind of have to apologize for the first half of this mission. What I'm going to be doing is just capturing a lot of ogre. And there's not a whole lot of ways to make this interesting. New units received. We have to let the ogre come to us because if the trow see us, or if they see us using our dream of release on the ogre, they're going to come attacking long before we're ready. But we've got 
Mirdrid Ogre coming, target the center of the group. New units received. Dream of Release has New a very large received. area of effect. Well, here comes some more. But if you're a, if you target an edge, there's a chance that you might miss a couple. New units received. Okay. New units received. Just like that, 26 ogre. Alright. Now it takes about half of Mirdred's mana to use the Dream of Release, so you can use it twice in rapid succession. Yes. New units received. Okay, so we're kind of in this nice little arena sort of deal. Looks like we'll be safe from the trow here. I'll just keep all of my units in here for now while I go and capture more ogre. Now, the reason that I was looking forward to LPing this level more than anyone else, I think it's fair to say that Myth 3 has a reputation of being buggy and terrible. I mean, I hope that's a lot. Well, I think that's why a lot of you are here. You've, you've heard this game is bad, and you're interested to see how it is. I'd like to hope that I've shown that, that this game isn't that bad. However, for people who have played Myth 3, this level has a reputation of being buggy and terrible. And I really kind of can't wait New to show that. Received. New units received. New units received. I think that should be all the ones coming this way. Sure. Let's move on out. Look for more ogre. Now you might notice that these ogre aren't really attacking. I guess they're supposed to give off the impression that they're, I don't know, working on the temples and doing things. But it just kind of gives off also the impression that these ogre are just lazy or something. No, 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 ev no, no, everyone, okay, everyone over here, Mirdred, Dream, Group. And there's one more over here. We'll just increase speed so Mirdred gets his mana back. Okay, let's do an ogre inventory. How many do we have? Thirty-nine. That's a lot of ogre. I think we can do a little better. New units received. Um, we didn't actually receive any new units there. Um, this level's buggy and terrible. I might have mentioned that. That's kind of the thing. Uh, <laughs> it's it's a little delayed reaction on that sometime. But thirty-nine. Ah, that's that's a ton of ogre. That's hugely powerful group. But let's get some more. Let's go up here. Here's where things get uh, a little interesting. So again, notice none of these ogre are kind of going after and trying to kill Mirdred, even though they would totally destroy him. What these ogre are doing, they, uh, they're they just wandering around this temple here. It's made to give off the impression that they're constructing this temple. I mean, that's what the hints say. Most of the ogre are constructing a temple in the center of the map. But they're just kind of wandering around. New units received. New units received. There's maybe, I don't know, 20 or 30 more ogre here, but let's just capture that one group I did, and we'll uh, put all of our ogre into line just to show off something here. Oh, hey. One of them's actually attacking. New units received. Okay. Just get in a line, guys. Get in a line. Okay. Now that we... Well, no, no, we're going... Now that we have all of our ogre... No, get, get in the line. No, you get in the line. Okay. Now that all our ogre in a... Get, a, get in... Get. Here's the problem. These ogre are hard-coded to wander around this temple, even after we capture them. So right now, I give them an order to head down this ramp, and they'll follow that for a second, but then they'll turn around and continue on their wandering ways. So it's really, really annoying to capture any of these ogre. You have to constantly babysit them. Because if you don't, they'll just go on their own way and try to head back up the uh, ladder, or the ramp to the temple. 
So I'm going to attempt to lead them back to the main group. Oh no. Come on. No, 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 no. Everyone, over here. I'll make uh, the bugged ogre their own group. And we got 46 ogre. <laughs> With this uh, amount of units, it's kind of fun to play with the formations. For example, the arc formation at 46 units loops back on itself. It happens at uh, that happens at 44 units. Okay, I'll try to keep them there. I'll send Mirdred off to do something to get the Trow's attention. Where did no, Mirdred go? Go this way. I just have to keep. Uh, telling this group to not move. If you want to have some fun, pause the video and read off some of these ogre names. Sounds Each one sounds like uh, you're trying to clear your throat or something. There we go. Just on the other side of this wall, there's a trow. Nope, nope, come on. Come on. I'm trying to dream this ogre... Through the wall. New unit there we go. Casualty. That's uh, almost certain to get the trow's attention. Oops. Okay, here we go. Here we go, ogre. Let's show these trow what we think of them. Destroy my pretties! Kill! Ha ha ha! Woohoo! Oh Casualties. wow! It uh... Casualties. It takes one attack from a trow to kill a bunch Casualties. of ogre! Casualties. Oh, um... Uh, I had... I had 44... 46 ogre. Casualties. Uh, I have less. And oh, Casualties. yeah! Um... Uh... Casualties. Well, we killed one. Oh dear. Casualties. Uh. Casualties. There's uh. Casualties. Whoa, whoa, hold. Okay. Casualties. There's. Casualties. Okay, forty-six ogre killed one. Trow. Um. Casualty. Maybe a second one. Casualties. Oh, good lord. Casualty. And there's even more trow incoming. Okay, um, what the hell? 46 ogre killed two trow, and there's like way, way more still coming. <laughs> Look at that guy, he's dead. Oh, good god. Well, what the hell are you supposed to do? And I only could have added like 20 or 30 more ogre. There's just not enough ogre here. This is completely unwinnable. Well, goddamn. The beginnings of the ogre rebellion were smashed by the iron foot of the trow. Connacht's remaining force was run down by the pursuing trial warriors 